Hey guys, what's up? Okay, I'm making this video after the next video, uh, but because some of you probably won't want to watch the other video, I'm putting this video first. Um, so, <laughs> I don't know how to say it any simpler. Okay, so anyway, the, the topic of this video is the Trinity in Scripture. Uh, I'll start with the Holy Spirit. Uh, Genesis 1, chapter 2, and the Spirit of God moved over the waters of the deep. That's the Holy Spirit. Genesis 6-3. This is also a uh, prophetic verse here. Uh, God says, My spirit shall not always strive with man. His days are numbered at 120 years, or ages, or periods, or whatever. And if you do 120 periods and apply the word jubilee instead of periods or years, 120 jubilee equals 6,000 years. And if you don't believe that we're 6,000 years old, on the planet, instead you believe we're millions and billions of years old. Go to drdino.com and go in his, uh, watch the free videos and look at his seminars. And uh, you might want to do some research instead of just believing uh, propaganda and stuff because um, it's a young earth, guys. Anyway, so Holy Spirit again, so not strive with man. So, 6,000 years. And then Psalms 51.11, David says, Lord, don't take the Holy Spirit away from me. So there, you've got three instances, there's more, if you want to go look for them, of the Holy Spirit in the Old Testament. All right? The next thing that I want to address is, man, without getting out into a 30-minute discussion on it. Anyway, John chapter 1 in the beginning was the Word, the Word was with God, etc., etc., and Jesus was the Word of God. And all you boys who want to get all logos on me and thought and everything, here's your confirmation on that Jesus is the Word of God. The Bible's not the Word of God. It is the Word of God. But the Word of God is Jesus. If you look at Revelation Jesus is clothed in a robe that is dipped in blood. He's, he's suiting up. He's getting ready to come back for Armageddon. And it says his name is the Word of God. That's his title, Word of God. Jesus is the Word of God. So when you go into the Old Testament, it says, And the Word of the Lord came and said, it's not every one of you. You've got to look at it and make up your own mind about it. But if you go and look and it says, And the word of the Lord came and said, Yada, 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 yada. It ain't take a whole stretch to say, Replace the word of the Lord with Jesus. Jesus came and said. He came and said. Now, if you look in like, I don't know, Genesis, Exodus, Leviticus, somewhere in there. And it says, And the word of the Lord came and said. Well, how is the word of the Lord going to come and say? Because if we're applying that to the Bible, Moses wrote the Bible or the Pentateuch, the, the Torah, after all of that stuff happened. So how can you bring the Bible and the Bible said before it was written to people? Ain't going to happen. Jesus is the word of the Lord, word of God. There you go, Old Testament and New Testament. To further clarify this issue, Jesus says in John chapter 1, verse 18, No man, none, zero, nada, has seen the Father, has seen God the Father. Semicolon, it is the Son who bears evidence of Him. No man has seen the Father. Moses didn't see the Father. If you go back and look at Exodus 33, chapter uh, 33, verse 18 through 23, Moses was on Sinai and went through all that with God, the burning bush and everything. And he never saw God the Father.
But if you look at Genesis chapter 18, read the whole chapter. That's a cool chapter. This is the chapter where, uh, right before the angels go to get Lot, out of Sodom and Gomorrah, you know. And if you read in uh, Genesis chapter 18, verse 3, it says, right the verses before that, Abraham's sitting in the doorway of his tent chilling out. And three men approach. Abraham recognizes that one of the men is God. Because he falls down on his face and says, Adonai, which is only used for God. And if no man has seen the Father, then who did Abraham fix supper for and eat with? You can bow up and twist around and do all you want. That's Jesus. Because no man has seen the Father. So, there you go on that one. And of course, God the Father, he's all over the Old Testament and New Testament. So you got the Holy Spirit and you got Jesus in the Old Testament and New Testament. And then you got God the Father, Old Testament, New Testament. So there's all three of them from Genesis through Revelation. The whole thing. So there you have the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit that cover the wet, the whole of scriptures from Genesis to Revelation. Thank you. God bless. Maranatha peace. Get ready because we ain't got long now, guys. <laughs>